This is a Game Caviar production. All right. Somebody brought it up. It's been reported. Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty. I guess it's Modern Warfare 4. Like, uh... I was watching Thunder's video the other day. He said that they already had a Call of Duty 4, so Modern Warfare 4 would be uh, really stupid sounding, but whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> who knows what they're going to call it. But the rumor has been started, and we already know it was going to happen as I get killed by a camper. Those guys are so cool. You know, why move around when you just sit in one spot and wait for somebody to come to you, right? Anyway, it was reported... And we can only imagine that it 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 can um it's already in work. Somebody said that these these games should honestly be uh, like not a yearly thing. They should be every other year. But if you think about it, these companies do have a full year to complete a game. You know, because you got to look. Let's say when it, Modern Warfare Three came out, Infinity Ward. They already made the game, and although it was a complete piece of shit, all they had to do was make some, let's see, some patches for it or whatever. And we already know Infinity Ward patches don't really fix anything. So they could have, they, they honestly, they could have used that time to start making Call of Duty, uh, the next Modern Warfare. And at least the framework of it, the storyline, the, the basic, the innards of the game. You know, so when you really think about it, Black Ops 2 is out now, so they're, they're well into making the new Call of Duty game. But some of the things that I, I want to see in the next Call of Duty game, uh, I'm not going to come over here and say dedicated servers because we know I'm not going to have a rant about that because we already know that's not going to happen. Or, well, it may happen, but there's a very small chance of that happening. But what I would like for them to incorporate is something that I talked about in my previous Call of Duty 4 videos, the ones on a PC that I was doing. That you can allow people to uh, rent a server like they do in Battlefield, like DICE has done, and allow them to mod the game in many different ways. It's going to be very hard for them to do that on the console because I don't, they're not going to be able to redo the textures and sounds and everything like that but you can have a game to where people can uh i don't know just do all sorts of crazy stuff most of the things that you see in these illegal modded lobbies that you you see a lot of times in modern uh what is it modern warfare 2 now but that's just one of the things that i could see because when people are having an intense amount of fun, they tend to overlook the flaws of a game. You know, it's kind of like when you and your buddies go out to the bar and, you know, you get all drunk. And I, I've heard guys say this a lot that I work with. I don't go out like that because I'm married. But, uh, but they go out and they find a chick. And at the end of the night where, you know, the bar is closing up, you just want to get that to... To go home you don't want to go home into empty-handed so a lot of the flaws that you get in a chick you tend to overlook because of alcohol and the general need to put your piece uh, something of yours inside of something of hers and that's just one of the things that can be incorporated into this game because if people are having fun playing the game in these these uh, rented server modded lobbies then they're gonna overlook the lag and whatnot and even if you're worried about getting hacked to where somebody will hack your your stats or whatever and even online there were like self uh, police to where people they had some rules and people for the most part they paid attention to those rules and they played uh, the game the way that the whoever rented the server wanted it to be and that's the same way with battlefield for the most part uh i would like to see it to to where they when you press the edge you get to keep what you unlocked for the gun previously it's something that black ops does i really appreciate that idea and i think that that is really good and uh it's, you know just things like that man i don't really play the single player campaigns of call of duty anymore but the multiplayer is where they make make their meat and potatoes and that's exactly what they need to focus on a lot making the customer happy they're not going to do that well they may not it's a great possibility that they won't do uh, dedicated servers, but at least give us something that will uh, positively, positively 
uh, distract us from the fact that there are no dedicated servers anyway let's talk about it in the discussions i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more